Double salute to the New Mays Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you guys out there having an amazing day. Today is an amazing day to have a great day, right? If you're new to the channel, welcome to New Millions Films. Guys, I am done millions. Today, guys, we're at Horsetown South, Cavender's Horsetown. I'm down here, guys. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as we get some cowboy hats cleaned and reshaped. Also, if I like what I see in here, guys, I'll bring you guys along with me for a little cowboy hat shopping spree. You guys stay tuned, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, yeah, guys, let's go on and get in here and catch these people before they close. Peace. All right, New Mage Nation, so we are inside. As you can see, we're in Horsetown, guys. And uh, my man back here, they got some amazing hats. This is the stand right here where you get your hats cleaned and reshaped. So we're about to get our hats cleaned and reshaped. And uh, while they're doing that, guys, we're gonna go back here and see can we find some new cowboy hats. You guys stay tuned. And uh, yeah, man, let me show you guys how it's done. Okay, New Mays Nation, I just dropped my hat off at the hat shop, guys. He's waiting on someone else now, right now. We're gonna check out some cowboy boots and some hats, so we're getting back heavy into the horse game. Shout out to, uh, we just started the new LLC, Newsom Equestrian Performance Horses. And uh, yeah, guys, we're about to get the whole fam right, fitted for cowboy boots, cowboy hats. I'm getting my cowboy hats cleaned and reshaped. Like I told you outside, guys, if we see something we like, I'm buying it. If not, uh, we'll just continue to look and we'll go to the other locations. So I'll report back up there and, uh, tell him how I want my hats rebent. But for now, we're back here looking at saddles, guys. And uh, yeah, just give you a little tour of this place, man. This is like a toy store for me. Like to come through here and to see these beautiful saddles and just uh, and just to shop and see, man. You can, um, Horsetown's a very busy place. Horsetown South, this is the uh, biggest location that they have. And uh, yeah, guys, you, it's just pretty cool to come in here to see all those saddles that they have, the saddle blankets. I mean, they have a, a super variety of just different beautiful saddles, guys. The detail and the craftsmanship in the saddles that Horsetown carries, amazing. So uh, even if you guys don't have horses, it's good to come here and just look at stuff. Um, and uh, just do some, uh, if nothing more, just to come and put your eyes on some things. If you see something you like, maybe we can buy it. We don't, guys, we keep looking. You know how it goes. You see a deal, you see a bargain. You go for it. If not, you keep moving. So, but this is a great place to come, see what kind of bargains that they have on these amazing saddles. I mean, Horsetown, they don't carry anything cheap, nothing uh, subgrade. Everything is, is is pretty quality, guys. Uh, I mean, just look at the craftsmanship on these saddles that they carry. I mean, real cool detail. It would be like for a female barrel racing, things of that nature. More so, your English saddles. See, I'm a big fella, so I like the, I like a big saddle, a wide saddle with a like high horn. The Hispanics, my uh, my Latinos, the Mexicans, they make some really amazing Spanish uh, saddles. The Mexicans, the Mexican saddles, those are pretty good, but those are like five or six thousand dollars because they're made out of like real material stuff like that. These are too, it's more leather, but they do really good job with the Mexican saddles. So here's the bit aisle. These right here, the different bits that goes in the horse's mouth. You hook your bridle up to one side. They have just all kind of different bits, guys. Uh, when you get into bits, it is a very, uh, I won't say complicated, but it, there are so many different bits used for so many different things, guys. You got racing horse bits, you got show horse bits, you got uh, walking horse bits, things of that nature. You have all your lasso ropes back here. Man, this is so cool, guys. You wanna get in the roping, man, you come to Horsetown, get your bull head, guys. Your little bull head, stick that in the ground. Get you a nice rope, lasso rope, and practice roping, guys. Get you little ones out the house, man. And uh, get you doing something on the farm. And they all, I also had these. If you can see, the other day at the farm, when we was down at the ranch, we also had these as well. You saw the little ones messing with these guys. So, ropes, as you guys can see when we was down at the ranch. Your little bulls for practice. And these are ropes right here. 
roping bags. There are people who really take this roping game serious, as you guys can see, man. So, uh, yeah, these right here are your chaps. Got pretty cool chaps. I know I'm kind of like all over the place, guys, but uh, these are your chaps. When you are inside rodeos and you put them around your, around your jeans, as you can see that, guys. But these right here are the chaps. As you guys can see, man, these right here go on. New Mage Nation, we're inside Horsetown at the moment. Guys, we're waiting for my man up front. Um, we're waiting for the hat guy to finish with those other two clients. I'm gonna take you guys back to the hat stand, show you guys how they rebend, reshape, clean hats. And uh, like I said, guys, we're about to try on some new cowboy hats. You guys come along with me as I try on some new cowboy hats, man. We're gonna get fresh and fit. If I like what I see, I'll buy it. But if not, we just keep looking. So you guys stay tuned, man. Thank you for tuning in, New Mage Nation. I really appreciate the love and the support. And man, the day today is just a great day to have a great day, guys. As you can see, man, I had to go get fresh. The last couple of videos, guys, I was looking horrible. Oh my God, but it's just be so busy, man. You know how it is when you're grinding, man. So behind the scenes, guys, a lot going on. I just don't have a lot of time to just stop by the barbershop here soon, guys. I'm gonna have to have someone on call come keep me fresh so I can look good for you guys, man. Cause when you're looking good, you feel good and make you want to get out and get some money, guys. So we gotta do some cowboy hat shopping. And we're gonna hang out. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, man. So I appreciate all the love and support on the last few videos. We had a good time the other day on the boat. We're gonna keep this thing going, guys. So thank you for tuning in, New Millions Nation. And uh, yeah, enough of me talking, man. Let's let's go uh, try on some cowboy hats. Come on, New Millions Nation. We're over here at the hat shop, and uh, I'm kind of feeling these uh, George Straits. Being it is about to be spring and summer, the wool and the felt hats. Well, I won't say wool, but the felt hats. The felt hats are gonna be a little bit too hot for the weather that's coming here in the south and uh so i think it's time for to look for like a straw hat or something like that keep the head a little bit cooler while we're out working the horses and uh going to certain events now how i like to wear my cowboy hats i would prefer to wear a straw hat at the ranch and then wear my nice felt hats like to the rodeos and uh, out to dinner and certain events the western events so that's how i part particularly like to do things so uh today guys i think we're gonna probably grab a straw hat but I kind of like these George Straits, but we're going to see, guys. Uh, I'm kind of in between because I saw some online that I really like, that I really like to order, but uh, we'll see, guys. So enough of me talking, man. Let's uh, try some of these things on, man. So we're going to have seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. I really like the way the seven and a half feel. And as you can see, guys, I'm looking for my size. I wear a seven and a half. They don't have the seven and a half in these particular George Straits that I like, the straws. So, uh. We'll move on, guys. Let's move on because uh, any other size than seven and a half, even in just pure felt or even straw, it feels the same. So I like it to sit a certain way on my head. So seven and a half it is. And the hat that I particularly like is George Strait here. They don't have it in my size. So, and, uh, so that's a no-go. No seven and a halves. Let's keep it pushing, New Mage Nation. Oh, they got some Stetsons here that I see, but they probably don't have. And this is mean Stetson straw right here, guys. I like now, I really digging that one, but do they have a seven and a half? They don't have a seven and a half. I guess a lot of people don't have big heads, huh? <laughs> seven and a half. I, I really like that though. That's Stetson mean. That's Stetson cold right there. New Millions Nation. Guys, I hope everybody out is having a great day, man. Today is just a good day just to get up, got, get out and get some money. Guys, I hope whatever you just under, let me tell you guys something, man. If you're going through something, guys, just know it's temporary. It's only temporary, guys. You got to get up, fight through the storm, guys. Just know the sun is going to shine on the other side of the clouds. You got to keep pushing, guys. I just feel good. I just wanted to lay that on you guys today, man, as I'm shopping for these amazing cowboy hats. As you can see, them Stetsons, man. Ain't nothing like a good Stetson, guys. Oh, man. I know this is not my size, but that's seven and three-fourths. Too big. I need that seven and a half. See, that's a mean look though, guys. I need the seven and a half. That's a seven and three fourths. And uh, New Means Nation seems like I'm having a hard time finding my size. So we're gonna keep it pushing, follow me.
right guys. Like I say, man, Horsetown, they have a lot, a huge selection, but I mean, I guess I've just been looking online too long, guys. I mean, just seeing all those amazing cowboy hats, different styles on the actual Stetson website. I don't really see the ones I'm looking for here and they don't have my size. So we're gonna keep looking. New Midge Nation. And, uh, yeah, man, it's just, I guess I, what it looks like from this point, we're just gonna be getting the hats cleaned and reshaped. You guys stay tuned, man. Let me see if my man is done up front. And uh, let's check back up to the hat spot and see, can we get you guys some good footage and see how they rebend cowboy hats, reshape them and clean them. You guys stay tuned, man. I'll show you how AJ is gonna clean my hats and we're gonna reshape them. So nice to meet you, AJ. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, my friend. So New Millions Nation, we're here at Horsetown with AJ. He's about to clean my hats. He's about to reshape them. So I want you guys to come in and get a little close in look and how he does this and how this process is done. Um, these cowboy hats are made with beaver felt. Uh, so in order to bend them, you have to add steam, hot steam to them. And it's an amazing process how they do this, guys. So I want to bring you guys along and show you how AJ is going to hook these hats up today. New Mage Nation, if you like what you're seeing, hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead on and do us a bigger favor, man. Just subscribe to the channel, guys. This is the kind of things you got to come do, guys. I want to bring my audience along with me to show you guys how this process is done. So get in here. Let's get it. Um, AJ uh, dot shapes. AJ, AJ dot shapes. All right, I'll leave that in the description below for sure. You want to check me out? For sure. I'm going to check you out. THL, why you got it. So you go from brim, then you go your crown, and then those, those are the two main components of the cowboy hat. Yeah. You got your brim, and then you have your crown. And then whenever you get to shaping, you always start on the crown first, and then okay. the brim, just because you're always gonna touch the, the brim while you're shaping, you know? Okay. So, that's the tip right there. Oh, that's dope. How long, so how long have you been shaping that? <laughs> Almost two years now. Really? You really like it? Yeah. Cool. As you guys can see, man, he got my boy, my boy AJ, he got a hat on, man. I like his joint. He got that thing broke right, guys. So, as you can see, man, he's cleaning my hats, guys, reshaping them, getting me right. New Mage Nation, any of you cowboys, black cowboys out there, any of my Mexican cowboys, you already know about Horsetown. You can come here and get your hats reshaped and uh, cleaned. And while you're here, you can pick up your nice Stetson off the back wall, if the budget fits it. So, and uh, guys, I see something back there that I really like but they don't have my size. So I have to go on Stetson's website. And as we order those guys and wear them and they come in and we'll do some cool unboxings, guys. So you guys stay tuned, man. My boy AJ's taking care of me. I hope you guys enjoying this video. We're just gonna continue to look around the horse town, do a little shopping and see what we can find, guys. Nothing more, guys. We came to get some hats reshaped and cleaned. Someone coming in, entry level, wanting a hat, a cowboy hat, which direction would you point a newbie in? Someone just coming in and say, you know what? I don't want anything just dirt cheap that's gonna not last, but I, I really can't afford a $500 cowboy hat. Which direction would you point them in? Um, depends season wise. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, in winter, I'll say get a Stetson. Skyline 6X, can't go wrong with it. Um, Skyline 6X? Yes. So that would be more so a medium, like coming in on medium ground, like a Skyline 6X. So it's main, mainly the, the style that it comes in. Okay. Um, so like that one, that's the Skyline 6X. It's black? Yes. Okay. Something classic. Okay. You know, oh, that's cool. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Never could. Yeah. So. And, then, and if it's, uh, you're barely starting to wear cowboy hats or anything, recommend a straw too. Okay. Straw. straw. Recommend yeah, straw. and you don't want to break the bank either too. Okay. Straw, straw, straw. A good straw Stetson. Yeah. Okay. So guys, if you don't want to break the bank, get you a good straw Stetson back there on the wall. Significantly much cheaper than these actual beaver felt hats that's on the wall. These are your more premium 
you guys can do your research. It go from 10x to 100x to 500x, and then they have ones down here in these cases you see it's like a thousand x, and these are the thousand dollar cowboy hats, guys, and that's the real big boys. So you guys stay tuned, man. I, I like one of the ones called uh, from the one from Stetson. It's called the Rancho, the Ranchero, or the Rancho. The El Rancho. Yeah. The Rancher. Yeah. Man, that that hat that's five thousand. Got the two carats of diamonds in the brim on the side B. Man, that thing is cold. We get to full of chinchilla hair. Chinchilla, that's right, it's full of chinchilla. It's made of pure chinchilla with diamonds in it. Guys, we get to 100,000 subscribers, I'll be buying one of those ranchers, guys, from Stetson's. The rancher is 5,000. You guys go do your research. I'm gonna pop it up in the screen, guys. The rancher Stetson is 5,000. We get 100,000 subscribers, guys. I'm going to buy that hat and unbox it for you guys. And then I'll probably just give it away to one of you lucky subscribers, like real shit. So, you guys stay tuned, man. Back. The Don is back. Oh man, how I look. There we go, guys. I like mine to sit up high on that crown. There we go. There we go, guys. Shout out to my man AJ. He's about to clean my second one, guys. I like what he did with this one. He got me all the way right. He got me back in the game. There we go, guys. Refreshing the hat as you guys can see. Man, we're just kicking it, man. Let me throw, throw the specs on and see what we're looking like. Oh yeah, there you go. There he is, guys. He's back. It's the Don. Oh man, he got me real right, guys. Shout out to my man AJ, guys. Horsetown South. Make sure you ask for AJ. He's a great hat guy, man. Here at the hat bar. He cleans them, he shapes them, and he knows his history, guys, about hats. He takes pride in it, attention to detail. You guys make sure you come show him some love. Tell him New Millions Film sent you. I'm sure he'll take good care of you guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so he's working on the second hat right now. And uh, we're just going to cut to some B-roll and watch AJ do his thing, man. Y'all got to stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in today, man. I really appreciate the love and the support. Like I say, guys, I'm going to be bringing you guys on everything I do. Cameras is on. I'm going to bring you along on every experience that we do, guys. We're back in it full time. New to me question, performance horses. Guys, you're about to see a lot, guys. we got some horses coming in. we got a lot of things going. So I'm going to be taking you guys on some uh, as we tour different ranches and different properties, trying to get and trying to purchase. I'm going to be taking you guys along. We're going to fly the drone and... Uh, I want you guys' input, man. I really want you guys' feedback on this. And uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned, man. Finna have a good time. New Means Nation, thank you for tuning in. Nation. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead and do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel, man. Guys, I'm about to bring you a lot more cowboy, a lot of more Western videos. And uh, you guys just stay tuned, man. We're going to hang out and have a good time. For now, guys, mission accomplished here at Horsetown South. Got our hats clean, reshaped. And uh, thank you guys for coming along with us and uh, having a good time. Peace. Double salute to the New Beach Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in today, man. As you can see, guys, today is another day. We are at Bucky's here, guys, as you can see behind me, man. We're at Chopping Up the Brisket, that is the place. We came way back up here again, guys, just for the brisket sandwiches and, uh, of course, some of these beaver nuggets. Guys, this is gonna be round two at Bucky's, guys. So, last time we was here at Bucky's, guys, I did not get any of the beaver nuggets. We're gonna get some beaver nuggets. And, of course, guys, I had to come back for the brisket. As you can see, guys, they're bringing that fresh brisket out. I had to drive all the way up here from where we live to get some of that brisket, guys. I had to grab me another extra, extra large brisket sandwich. 
man, these things are amazing. This place is packed, as you guys can see. Man, we had to get come to the back, guys. Get out the hustle and the bustle a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. And as you guys can see, man, this place is packed. This is going to be round two, guys. We draw way up here for uh, another sandwich. Man, these, these brisket sandwiches are amazing, guys. I'm telling you, man, you got to get the buckets. If you ever never been to buckets, you got to get the buckets and get you some brisket sandwiches. Guys, I'm telling you, see how we come. We load up, we go heavy. Last time, how could I come to Bucky's without getting some Bucky's beaver nuggets, guys? We have to get these this time. I did not get them last time. I've never had them, so we're going to try them this time, guys. If you have ever been to Bucky's before, comment down below. Let me know what items did you get, and uh, do you really like that brisket sandwich? If you tried the brisket sandwich, comment down below. Let me know how you like it, guys. I really appreciate the love and the support. New Millions Nation, and uh, yeah, we're about to check out. Walking out of Becky's. <laughs> I keep saying Becky's. <laughs> Walking out of Bucky's, guys. That place is packed, as you guys can see. And uh, we had to come back for the brisket. Now we're about to throw some gas in the truck. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for tuning in. If like what you've seen, hit the thumbs up button, man. Go ahead on, do me a big favor, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. And remember, guys, whatever you're going through is only temporary, guys. You got to get up, get out, and work through it, guys. God won't take you through it unless he can bring you through it, guys. So just remember, guys, stay faithful, stay positive, and whatever you're going through, guys, you'll get through it. Peace.